breathe? Feel free, follow my emotions and work with my heart. Create an artwork that becomes a statement of who I am. That includes the four pillars of Swatch's language, colour, transparency, movement and lightness. My work should represent a strong emotion, carry a positive message and celebrate energy and creativity. The work should be pulsing, lively, powerful and most of all, it should follow my heart. Hmm? Heart. There is no more magic word than this one, in my opinion. First of all, because life comes from the heart. Then, of course, because the heart is at the core of anything that becomes creativity, anything that is born from passion, anything that is somehow part of what you want to share with the rest of the world. Every time you change your emotion, there is a different rhythm, there is a different movement, there is a different pace, there is a different energy. And therefore, even within a very um, visionary and stable sense of creativity, there will always be those minimum variations that will actually make a work of art a masterpiece. And you need to let your heart be stronger than your brains in order to be someone that makes a difference in this world. One of the challenges is to find the right language, the right energy and the right mix in order to allow a person to express what is inside his or her heart. And if it sits on top of your head, I think it's going to be even more spectacular. So I'm here at my workbench and today I am designing and looking at how to construct the piece that I'm going to make for the Swatch Art Piece Hotel. And a lot of my designs come from really working with 3D models. So I usually start by doing some kind of drawing and some kind of research, very rough sketches. So my design process really starts with collecting different um, inspiration and different pieces. Sometimes they're from my archive, um, sometimes they're pieces that I will have blocked and actually made as a shape reference. When I start developing a shape, you can make them in many different forms. So you can start with just a cardboard shape, you can start with um, a clay to actually make the foundation shape. And then from this point, I'll develop the shape to make it really exact of what I'm imagining I want to see in a hat and then I start with different pieces of inspiration really so things that I'm inspired by the looks the textures 
some pieces come from pictures come from um, off the internet from research some pictures I have from books for you know hero pieces that I've loved for a really long time that that come back around and some pieces are pieces of my work that maybe I want to reference or maybe I want to recreate again you know I think as an artist you're constantly kind of recycling and renewing your design process as a maker to then bring in all those ideas of what you've used before and try and bring them into something a little bit uh, new and exciting and keep pushing the boundaries of, of what you do so you never do the same techniques twice so for the it's project with Swatch I knew exactly what I wanted to do from the moment I actually got the brief. In fact I almost had an idea of why, what I wanted to do before I even had the brief. This is my mood board and it just kind of tries to describe a bit of a texture and a mood or a feeling of what I want to try and create with my piece. It is a design from my nan's embroidery. She used to make tablecloths when she was about 16 and she used to do a lot of embroidery. It was during the war so she was really accomplished as an embroiderer you can see some of the detail here and I've been taking a lot of her embroidery techniques and her tablecloths and reworking them for my new collection her mother my great-grandmother was a milliner so I have it a lot in the family and this is a picture of my dad my grandmother and my granddad We are ready to start the lucid dream experience. Relax. Relax. Visualize a staircase. You start descending the staircase. Stepping down. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You gently slip inside the dark. Now open your eyes. You are standing in a forest. Visualize the forest. Now remember a beautiful dream. A dream you had when you were a child. This is your dream. It is a fantastic dream. Now look at yourself. Watch the mirror. Remember, remember who you are. Get to the present. Wake your mind. Get lucid. This, this is, is now a lucid dream. You can control it. Going forward, lost in time. This is how your lucid dream begins now.
Heart is what life is all about. Heart is love. Art is a part of it. So, in my opinion, it conveys exactly what passion and creativity are all about. Art is an expression of both these worlds, and it beats at a different rhythm every time, every day, every moment. It also includes hat. So now we will see what putting together someone who is an artist in hats will create. So these are the final pieces for my sample that I'm creating for the swatch project. And two crowns and two brims based on a top hat shape. Just finished blocking them. This is my husband and he's hiding from the camera because he's been doing all the filming for me today and he has been amazing. <laughs> he hates being this side of the camera so now you know how I feel please. 